bit left. Hopefully should be all right. It's bounced a few times. Hopefully a good line into the green, but I don't know at this point. Right guys, hidden gems number three, and we're in the Costa del Lancashire at Nelson Golf Club. Never played here, it's an Alistair McKenzie design course and I'm going to take the attack to it. OK, we just about got away with that tee shot. Pins on the left here, didn't think it was where it was, thought it was down to the left somehow, so just a little 52 degree, let's be putting early. Draw a bit, pushed it out to the right a tad, no idea, hopefully a putt, albeit a long one inauspicious start well I'm still figuring things out this is a very cool green just off the right edge pin high should be straightforward yeah not bad right on line wasn't sure about the speed of the greens but we'll get there dead straight I would wager Certainly is a bit pacey, but like the aggression, on to two, level par, let's go. Right, today, yet again, we've got a checklist and I'm looking for three birdies, even though I don't know the course, no double bogeys and no three putts. And we should be on to a winner with that. Get into the comments and tell me what you think I'm gonna score. Am I gonna break par? Let's see. Well, on to the very nice looking second, we've got 135 yards slightly into the wind. So I'm going to muscle a 9-iron at the middle of the green and try and hold it there because that pin is tight right. Well, that's got to go a bit. It's right of the flag as well which is dangerous. Oh, carried. That's turned out quite nicely, if not quite what I had in mind. Doesn't matter though, does it? Sweet. Well, I had the whole world left of this pin, but I decided to go right because, well, why not? It's worked out nicely, although I didn't expect to be long, and now putting back down the hill. It's quick. Very solid three. I'll take that all day long. Threes on par threes are good scores. Good start. And we're on to a par five and all I can see is horizon. Looks amazing. Reasonably short par five though. Four, seven, six down the hill. Starting this up the right with a draw, bring it back to that marker post and go from there. That started a bit right. It is starting to move back. No idea if that is good or not. I suppose we'll have to see. Well, this is a wild hole. I had no idea where I was going. I thought my tee shot was right. I mean, it is right at the fairway, but perfectly fine. We've got 166 it's playing to this flag, but I'm playing it more like 130. Just want to clear the ditch short of the green. If I get this on the green, that would be delicious. It's a bit of a pull. Hopefully it'll bounce right. It didn't. It's actually doing okay. We're just short left. Not my greatest approach, but I'm still getting used to this course. Not easy to know how much it's gonna bounce short of the green. And it's very hot and very firm, so there we are. Should be a fairly regulation up and down. I've got plenty of green to work with. Let's knock it into tapping range. Loads of check, that's nice to see. Landed it on the down slope, and that is beautiful for distance, if a bit pulley. But I should be able to clean that up for the four. 
and that would take us under par for the round, which would be amazing. Not my best putting stroke, but it came off the blade straight and we're under. Mm, beautiful. Here we are then, we're under par early and that's honest golf from a three handicapper. I'd like to think of myself as slightly better than that. But we move to four, short par four, less than 300 yards up the hill. All the trouble is left and the wind's into off the left. So I'm going flag hunting, not that I can reach. And if it leaks to the right, that would be more than okay. Right leak it is, struck nicely, oh dear. Well, I saw it down, but it went further right than I thought. It's going to be a hack out from the thick stuff, I'm afraid. Yuck. This is what we're faced with. At least we're not far away, but it's a hack and hope. If I get this on the green, that's really, really good. Oh, there's not a bunker there it's come out nicely enough honestly not upset with this at all i'm at least putting although it's a humongous putt and two putts would be the order of the day especially considering i don't want any three wax it's got to go a bit great for line all right makeable nothing else very aggressive again and swept in on the right side that's a very good two put I'll take that all day another relatively short par 4 at 305 but straight uphill benefits being it's downwind this time and I need to dispense with the military golf I've been playing especially with the driver it's been right and left I missed my line again. It's right at the flag, but it's never going to reach. It's definitely in play. We've missed another fairway and we're going over that bunker. So ready for some entertainment, viewers. I really hope you're enjoying this style of content from myself. I'm trying to show you honest three handicap golf, the good, the bad, and the potentially ugly. So if you are enjoying it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks. Let's go play an epic flop. Well, this should be interesting. I've got no green to work with. There is a bank near my camera that I can use and beyond the flag. So give myself a putt. Don't know where it is, can't see it, but I'm happy with it. It's a putt. Downhill. Don't think there's a lot in this. If anything looks right to left, so. We'll aim right edge, see what happens. It is into the wind and the greens aren't rapid. That's a long way off and work required. Thankfully I've made it, but the heart was pounding. Moving on to the sixth hole then. It's been a bit of a battle so far, but we're one under par, so absolutely delighted with that we have 162 yards but it's more like 140 but we are into the wind so I'm hitting a nice eight iron that 150 yard shot is the aim here tiny push again but it's on the right line I think it needs to go no it doesn't wow that's taken an incredible bounce it might be a hole in one Okay, so just to unpick that, that pitch on the right edge of the green and has now ended up on the left edge of the green. Wish I knew that was the case, but I'll take a birdie putt. That is a big slope. And this is for the birdie. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yep, that's a natural. Absolutely. No smoke and mirrors there, guys. That is a natty two. Bosh. Okay, what a 
start, ladies and gentlemen. The weather is hot and so am I, apparently. However, no resting on the laurels. This is 432 yards, stroke index one. And just for good measure, it's into the wind. Fortunately, it looks wide open. Smashing driver. We're left again. Thankfully, it was a bit towy, so it's dropped out of the sky. That's going to be a long approach, but at least we're in play. Well, at least I think we are. Well, I don't know if you can see my golf bag all the way up there. Didn't even see my ball back here. I've got 200 to the middle. But the flag is 190 playing 180, and I'm expecting it to roll. So I'm just going to hit a nice smooth six iron and if I get this on the green that's a good shot from here that's a very strange strike and it's heading a bit left fortunately hitting that club probably means I'm going to be short left so I should have a chance but that did not sound nice trouble okay was it a good approach no but was it a smart approach you bet this is quite a straightforward chip actually. Little bit of a knob to deal with here. But if I can just put a little height on it, land it just on the green in the upslope, should kill it up and down. Just like that, I hope. Oh, it's a bit pacey. Wow, that ran out more than I thought. Come on, this would be big. Not to be, I'm afraid. That's not stone dead, that was a humongous misread. So it'll be a bogey at the very least. Which it is. Bit disappointing, had a very good chance to make par there, but it is what it is, it's still a very good first seven. Okay, hole late, uphill, no idea where to go. Wind's off the left. Not entirely comfortable with the driver at the moment, but I'm aiming at that marker post. Just hit a low one. And that is exactly what I've done. That is a bullet and my best by an absolute mile today. <sighs> See if you can finish the nine under par. Right then, the benefits of having no idea about the course are, you don't know where the trouble is, so you don't worry about it. That's what I've done here trouble right and left and I've split the fairway 105 to the flag straight down wind don't think I can get there with a sand wedge so I'm just going to literally chip a 52 degree just short of the pin and hopefully run it up the little Mackenzie that there is I think that's got to go no it doesn't that is a gorgeous golf shot that I've slightly misjudged but it's landed right at the top of the slope which has killed it nicely and we hopefully have about 10 feet for bird this to redeem my two under status well absolutely walloped that by very aggressive putting stroke so far which you like to see in that i enjoy trying to make putts but i don't really enjoy leaving these Although I've made another one and another solid par, if a little frustrating, honestly. And the last hole of the front nine in this video, 368 yard par four, round to the left, there's a lone tree up that right hand side. So I wanna be inside that, that's about 250. So that's sort of my landing zone. that clipped a tree that's definitely too far left and there is a little woodland creature right that's an ob post that's the clubhouse that's the car park and the tea is somewhere back there i'm in by a yard and i've got 70 yards in that was not expected nor really deserved honestly 
best make the most of it. That's not a very good shot. Probably deserved. We're putting, and that's all I'll say about the matter. <laughs> oh, what a mess we made of that. So very lucky to be alive, but I didn't take advantage. I'm on the green, but I'm looking for two putts and two putts only. Happy not to have hit a car. Although I might have hit car path, my ball is a mess. Okay, it was not right to left at the end. Pace, absolutely sensational. Is it two under? There it is. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.